Hey y'all, so we really out here making videos and doing all this online now. So I decided that why not make some cooking videos, you know? Stuck at home, if I'm cooking, might as well share it with y'all. Maybe y'all can share some of it back. But uh, if you wanna see this delicious, oh, look at that creamy, oh, mushroomy greatness of a clam chowder get made. Don't leave, stay tuned. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna make some vegan clam chowder. I can't wait to get started on it with y'all. The first couple of major things you wanna think about is we have a cream base, then we have our soup, and then on top of that, we're gonna have mushrooms, right? And those are really the three major parts that we're gonna be focused on for this. So first is our cream base. Earlier, I had put some cashews in some water and I'd had them soaking for a hot second. So we're going to take those cashews that we've had sitting, we're gonna drain them, and then we're gonna mix this with some coconut milk. And that we're gonna use to be our creamy base so that the clam chowder can be, you know. Mm. So here it is, and then we're gonna pour it on in. And now we just gotta keep stirring it and mixing it and making it into that really good cream base that we're looking for. Because by having it sit in that water for so long, they've really become quite mushy. And now we'll just pour this right here and set this aside because we'll need this for a later step. Alrighty, so now we're on to the mushroom part. The first one you want to do is get some butter. It can be vegan butter, regular butter, that's your decision. But you want to saute them. So first we're gonna do this for a few minutes, two to three, and then eventually we're gonna add some garlic and some soy sauce in the mix. Get that saute really popping. <laughs> so now at this point we've added lemon scarlet <laughs> and we're about to add if I <laughs> And that is some soy sauce. This is on medium heat. And you're just gonna do this for a few more minutes. Now with this saute sauce in there to really bring out the mushroom flavors. And I chose to go with a shiitake mushroom and a little bit of the, the baby bella, but it's up to choice. So now I've taken them off the heat and we're gonna set them aside. Because this again, just like the cream base, is gonna come in later. So now we're gonna get started on our soup base. I've already put in some butter and now we're going to saute these onions. So now that the onions are translucent, we're gonna add the rest of our veggies to the mix. And we're gonna saute these for about hmm, five to seven minutes. And on top of just adding these veggies though, we're also adding in some garlic and some thyme as well. So now that the veggies are tender, we're gonna add some cooking wine and turn that heat up just a little bit for the wine because we want it to get into a simmer. And the goal here is once you have it simmering, 
to then turn it down and cook off this wine so that the flavor soaks into the vegetables. So now that we've cooked off that wine, we're gonna add some flour to these veggies. Get a nice thick coat on them. And we're gonna wanna stir it a lot for about a minute. vegetable broth. Turn that off. So now we're going to add some salt and some nutritional yeast to really get it to start to thicken. And on top of that, we're just going to throw in a couple of bay leaves while we're at it. Why not? So now, as you can tell, it's really starting to thicken. Look like a real soup. And that's about when you know you're good on this is when it starts to really thicken and get this soupy consist the consistency we want it. We're gonna need to take out the bay leaves because you definitely don't want to munch a crunch on these guys. And now we bring back that cream base we had made in the beginning and we're gonna turn the heat down to a low. And then we're gonna get our spatula here. And we're gonna start stirring in this cream. And just really letting it mix in. Now we're just gonna have this on low heat for a few minutes. Let it all mix together. Our soup has mixed with the cream base. The only thing left to add, really, is those mushrooms that we've sauteed from before. But alongside the mushrooms, we're also gonna add just a little bit of lemon. And luckily enough, we have a lemon bush right out in the backyard. What do we think, huh? This one? I think this one. It's calling the name. Let's go cut it. Look at that. Okay. Now, what we wanna do, that it's thick and creamy for us, is we wanna take those mushrooms from before, and just dump them on in. And then, as we're mixing these in, we're gonna take that lemon that we just sliced, we're gonna squirt some of that in there. Just about that much. Not too much, you don't wanna get a sour face. Yummy! Ugh, oh, wish you guys could smell this. Okay, looks ready enough to eat. Let's go and give it a try. I don't know, I'm starving. So now we've moved outside, better place to eat. No, oh, bloody. <laughs> okay, so nothing like a little bit of pepper on top. Give it that little bit of. Mm -hmm. Oh, sit down. See, it's so good, it's getting everyone. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, I did that. It's really good, you guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. I will highly recommend. Mm. Oh, shoot. Anyway, highly recommend you follow this recipe. It was really good. It wasn't too hard, as you saw. And it really didn't take that long either. But um, alongside with this video, there will also be the recipe instructions. So you can actually see all the amount of the ingredients and follow along. So hopefully maybe this is something you can do while stuck at home. <laughs>